it's October. Oh, one of my favorite months of the year. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. And I'm gonna show you what we have in our October morning basket. everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you found me. My name is Val. I am the homeschooling mom of three young kiddos, age three and a half to one and a half. We do preschool with my oldest and a kind of form of preschool tot school with my two and a half year old. So today I'm showing you our October morning basket. It is chock full because I love Halloween. It was one of those things before we had kids that I just couldn't wait to be able to celebrate and do all the fun things with our kiddos. And now that my oldest is three and a half, she is really getting into it. Like she's at the point now where she gets it, she understands, she gets excited, all those things. So I'm super, super excited about this year and I can't wait for the pumpkin farm and trick or treating and all those things. So anyway, Let's get into our morning basket. So first I'm going to do all the books that we are doing. Now, in our morning basket, um, I don't do every book every morning. I'll pick a couple. We don't do the same ones every day in a row unless the kids ask for them, then I will do those. Um, but I try to space them out and we go through a couple every morning. My kids are young, so they have small attention spans. So we only do what they are into what they're however long they're wanting to do usually it's like half an hour 20 minutes half an hour so first all of our books we are doing the leaf man which i had never read before um but my oldest loved this next this one charlie brown the great pumpkin um was given to us by my mom she's a huge charlie brown fan so she's passing down the tradition, making sure my kids know all the ch classic Charlie Brown stories. <laughs> so we also have this one. Next, if you have seen any of my morning basket um, videos, I can I will have them all linked down below. We're big Little Blue Truck fans, and I told you that come October, we would definitely have the Little Blue Truck Halloween book, and it did not disappoint. First of all, the pictures are just so pretty. I love the illustrations in all of the Little Blue Truck books, but this one is super fun because it has the lift the flaps, which kids just love. And it's all the same characters from all the books. And of course, Little Blue Truck. And they're all dressed up in different costumes. And I think it's good, especially for younger kids, because it kind of shows how, like at Halloween, people are dressed up and they can look different or they might look scary, but underneath, it's just somebody somebody that you already know or just a normal person just dressed up in a costume so we love this one next we have Fletcher and the Falling Leaves this one is also really cute and it's kind of talks about what happens in the fall when all the leaves fall off and what the leaves we found it really useful because it talks about also what the fallen leaves are kind of used for other animals use them for making nests or keeping warm in the winter and those kinds of things. So this one's really cute. I like this one a lot. Next we have the pumpkin book, of course, because it's Halloween. We've already got some pumpkins. We're going to get some more pumpkins. The Gail Gibbons books are really good because they have lots of actual like useful information, good for learning, not just reading, which don't get me wrong. We love reading and there's plenty of benefit from reading, but these ones are very informative. So we like Gail Gibbons books for that reason. And then we have too many pumpkins. I told you I was going all in for the pumpkin October Halloween theme. And then pick a pumpkin. So this one is more um, Halloween-y, not just October or fall-ish. So if you are not a Halloween celebrating family, then maybe not this one. But we love this one. Okay, so that's all I have in there for books. We have lots of other Halloween books also that I may swap in and out if some of those aren't really flying with the kids, if they're not really that into them, then I'll switch them for some other Halloween books that I have that I've had for years. Um, but so far that's it for books. So now moving on to the other things in our, our morning basket. We still have, of course, our Prodigy's Music Solfege signed cards because we are still 
doing our music lessons, I'm going to actually be putting out a video about our review of Prodigy's music. So make sure you're subscribed and your bell notifications on so that you can see this video. This program is, it's pretty amazing. You're definitely going to want to see that. And then next, I have some new flashcards that I found on Amazon that we're really liking. These ones are colors and shapes that I'm doing with my two and a half year old. We're kind of struggling to pick up colors for him. So um, I got these to try to help with. So we're using those and these came from this big ginormous box of flashcards, 230, no, 324 cards, six sets, alphabet, colors, and shapes, first words, numbers, zero to 25, phonics, and sight words. This, I mean, do you need anything else? <laughs> um, I will link this down below so that you can find it, but it was worth every penny. <laughs> so there's obviously the alphabet. I'll just show you. There's the alphabet, uppercase and lowercase of each letter. There's, these are the first words. So they have the word and then a picture. And then on the other side, they have just the word so that as they progress, you can um, just quiz them on just the word. But there's the word and the picture on the front sides of them. Then there's numbers zero to 25 and it has the number and then a picture of how many on the other side or it has the word spelled out with the picture on the other side. So uh, just to show you another example, there's the word for, and then it has four on the other side, or there's the number four, five, sorry, and then a picture of five objects on the other side. So that's also really awesome. Then there's phonics. So there's upper and lowercase a, and it has long A, so you can practice the long A sound and then words that start with the long A sound and then upper and lowercase A and then short A in words that begin with short A sounds. So that's really great. B and words that start with B and then it moves to B, L, bull and words that start with bull, burr. So that goes all of the way through. And then last are sight words. So there's I, and then they're double-sided. So there's multiple, many, many words. In, into, is, it. I mean, there are, I don't know exactly how many for um, sight words, but there are tons. I mean, I'll show you. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. So it has the labels. For each category and then I mean there are a ton of cards for each category so this has been amazing and will continue to be amazing six sets of 54 flashcards and then as always I have the kids names because we always practice spelling names so so that's it that concludes our October morning basket lots of books as usual because we are big readers in this family so there are always lots of books I hope you found something awesome that you're going to check out. Let me know below. What am I missing? What do you have in your October morning basket that I'm missing out on and I need to know about? Let me know below. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure your bell notification is on and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.